Good evening, good evening, everyone. How is everyone doing today on this fine, wonderful Sunday again? <laughs> I am back again, everyone. So, uh, in one of my previous videos, uh, this one of my, um, I think it was part three of the suspension video I made on Slushbox, and I said I was going to, you know, if I could get around to doing something today on her car on a slush box that I would make a video. So looks like I have a little bit of time. So here we are. So basically what we're going to do is um, we're going to modify the accumulators for one to two shift and two to three shift. So basically what that's going to do is that's going to actually raise the pressure in the valve body by um, keeping the piston, um, taking it re by removing the springs off of the piston and actually inserting uh, washers and nuts to make up for the spacing in between <clears throat> the cap and the piston. So basically what's that, what that's going to do is that's actually going to keep the piston down, which will actually block off the port and it will put the pressure back in the valve body and one to two to two to three shift will be a whole lot firmer and that will actually help um, definitely actually help the car pick up <clears throat> a little bit and it will save the clutches a great deal because um by you raising the pressure on in a transmission it helps a whole lot and it keeps the slippage and everything and it keeps the slip factor away from the clutch packs and all that stuff it doesn't let your clutch packs get hot stuff like that um because when you have a transmission that's has like a slight slippage to it it can really heat up the uh, the clutches and the steels and stuff, and we don't want that. And uh, that will really wear the clutches out and steels out really quick. So um, so basically, I was just going to show everybody where um, accumulators for one to two and two to three were. So it's okay. So your one to two is right here on the top right on top and then your two to three is right here on the bottom uh, the light right that little cap right there that's two to three all right so basically what, what you're gonna do there's a circle clip so i've already taken the circle clip off that way i wasn't trying to fight it while i hold my phone and do the video at the same time so this is basically what you do so once you pull the circle clip off you're gonna take the cap off, and there's your cap. See, your cap's got an O-ring on it. See the O-ring? So don't damage the O-ring when you pull it off, or if you have, if you can get new uh, new O-rings for your caps, go ahead and replace them. Um, hers has fairly new O-rings on it because I just recently did hers. And then after that, you're going to remove the, the tension springs right here. So the tension springs is actually what holds uh, tension on the piston. So when pressure comes up to the bottom of the piston, it just pushes it up. And that basically that basically releases a little bit of pressure off of um, your one to two shift. So it doesn't like, you know, shift it's firm. It just shifts kind of smooth. But in this case, you know, we're racing this car. So we want a little bit firmer shift. We don't want no um driving back and forth to work shift <laughs> so we want a drag racing shift so those tension springs actually hold you know hold tension on the piston so you know it gets just a spring effect so every time the pressure comes up it just pushes the piston up and then the springs force it back down um your piston is right there accumulator piston is right there and what you'll do is you'll take and you'll stick your um, take and you'll stick your washers and nuts down in this port, Hold on. down in that port right there on top of that piston all the way up until you've actually on this one, you're going to, you have about an inch and three sixteenths of space between the cap, but between the cap lock down and then the top of that piston. So once you get, I mean, once you get that space filled up, you can put the cap back on with the circle clip and it'll actually hold that piston down so it won't move anymore. It'll actually hold that pressure, keep the pressure out of that port and it'll just send it right to the, um, right to the valve body. So that's your one to two. 
And then your three to four is going to be two. I'm sorry. Then your two to three is going to be the same thing. But you take this, take this cap off, just like that. I've already removed the sir clip. And uh, sir clip's down here somewhere. Uh, I don't see it. Well, it's somewhere down here. I know that. <laughs> That's all that matters. It might be. Ah, we'll find it later. But anyway, so, so basically, same thing. You pull your, pull your springs out of there, your tension springs, and then you insert, you know, same thing. There's your piston up in there. So you're going to insert, um, on this one, you're going to insert just two nuts. And then the other one, you're going to insert two washers. Hold on, I got them all set up in here. So, I mean, like I said, you can use anything you want to use. You don't have to do exactly what I'm doing. I mean, any, like I said, anything that takes up one inch of space, that's for your two to three. And anything that takes up, uh, anything that'll take up an inch and three sixteenths. And that's what this is right here for your one to two. So that'll definitely take up the space in one to two. And then this will take up the space in uh, two to three. So like I said, as long as you got something to take up space <clears throat> on those two there, you should be good to go. Um, you should be square. As, as, like I said, as long as you got something to keep that piston down, forces it down and help it make it stay down to where it doesn't lift up and uh, let fluid through. Um, and that way it doesn't soften the shift. This, this right here, this modification that I'm doing will actually stiffen the shifts between one to two and two to three. And that's what we definitely want on slush box there. So um, that's what I'm actually getting ready to do on, on her. So yeah, so I just want to basically let everybody know and show everybody, you know, um, how to do this if you wanted to. I can still walk you through it if you guys are kind of confused on what to do and stuff like that. So um, just wanted to give everybody a, uh, you know, a um, visual of what was going on here. So, so like I said, you'll take these two right here and you'll stick them up in two to three accumulator port. And then you put your cap on with your sir clip and then you'll take this right here stick this in one to two shift um accumulator so put your cap back on with the sir clip um so that's basically how you do that if you want to modify your shift if you want to modify the shift in between um one to two and two to three this is how you do it right here by the accumulators um so you go back in here and i know y'all probably saying man he got a whole lot of transmissions <laughs> but uh I, this is all, these are all escort trainings. <laughs> so, but, uh, got some automatics here too. So, so yeah, so that's your, that's your, uh, two to three. Hold on. That's your two to three right there. Um, the accumulator piston and everything in it. And the two nuts will go here. You put your two nuts in, oh, blinding me here. You put your two nuts inside there and then you'll put, uh, you put your cap. Put your cap back in there with two nuts, like so, and then you put your circle clip on after that, and that'll hold that in there. Same thing with the accumulator up here. You'll drop your two nuts, drop your one nut, I'm sorry, you drop your nut, your washer, the two nuts, and then two washers on top, and then your cap goes back in. Um, cap goes in like that, and then you lock, you know, you lock your circle clip in, and boom. You're good to go and they're modified and that way um you know you don't have to uh uh you don't have to worry about the car being lazy in between your, your shifts so they'll be a lot firmer because now you're taking that pressure and putting it back in the valve body so when that valve in the valve body opens up for um when that valve opens up and that um solenoid calls for that uh one or two solenoid once it opens it'll have that pressure there so um, and one more thing, let me show everybody where these, so you see this, that one is like on the bottom right corner. Um, if looking at the transmission from the front, it's on the bottom right corner, but of course the front wheel drive car, you're looking at it. This is going to be like kind of beside the motor mount because there's your motor mount bolt holes right here. So this be right beside the motor mount. It's, you can access it, um, in the car without, Having only thing you gotta do, I believe, you probably, uh, if I was you, I would probably take the uh, transmission lower 
uh, support bracket down. That way you can get to the third clip and stuff like that. And then the top, um, I should have left it on there, but I didn't think about it. So the top one, the top one, you have to remove your transmission um, oil feed line up here. I'm sorry, oil return line. You're gonna um, you're gonna remove your return line up here. Take that off, of course, so you can get to that because your return line runs like right across here. It runs right across the top there. So, um, yeah, so yeah, your return line runs right across here. And so you can't get to the cap. So, um, so you have to return, you have to remove this return line here. And then of course, when you move the turn line out the way, you can just take your return line and probably your, your shifter, your shift cable. And that way you can, you can, you can access that. So I got it, you know, so I can show you on slush box too exactly what you need to do so everybody's seeing what the cap looks like so if you look down you see there's your transmission line right there with the bolt in it um return i want to say it's a return line because the other line comes directly off the pump so this should make it the return line because actually the the pump feeds from this line from the from the line on the pump to the trans so this is going to be your uh return line and your uh well i guess in a sense yeah so it's yeah so it's coming off the pump and feeding the transmission so yeah it'd be this be like a feed line so uh <clears throat> but my mistake <laughs> i get them backwards sometimes but hey man i'm still learning so all of us are still learning so but uh but yeah so there's your um there's your, let me see if this thing would focus a little bit. There's a little cap right there. There it is right there. My light's pointed directly at it. And you can see the little circle clip, you know, there. And you can actually see the line running right across the top of it. And you can see your cable right here is uh, running across it too. So if you, once you move that stuff out the way, you should be able to access that with no problem right out right from the top. So that's your one to two. And then you come down underneath the car, and then your, I see, where is it? And there's your two to three right there. And like I said, this is your lower support bracket I'm banging my flashlight against. You're probably gonna have to move that out the way to access that. So once you move this out the way, you should have full access to that cap. Um, I'm sorry, they, uh, yeah, that cap with the circle up there, and you should be able to um, insert your um, insert your piece, insert your nuts or whatever you use to keep the piston down. Um, you should be able to insert those in there with no problem once you move all that stuff out your way. So, but I uh, hope this was helpful, and I hope you guys learned something from this. Um, you know, I was, you know, wanted to get everything together and make a video for everyone so everyone has a good understanding of what's going on here um, and what we're doing and why we're doing it. So if you guys have any questions, you have any issues um, messing with this stuff and messing with the accumulators, feel free to contact me on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, or, or uh, YouTube. You can comment on this YouTube video if you have any issues. And I can walk you through it. Um, and I'll give you my, uh, you can message me. Like I said, you can message me anytime. And um, I'll help out who I can, when I can. So so that's basically the video that I wanted to make for you guys. So I hope everybody learned something from this. Um, please like and subscribe. Um, and, uh, you know, we really, we really do appreciate the support that everybody gives us. And everybody tuning into our channel. So, um, like I said, I really hope this was helpful. And uh, like I said, just, you know, if you have any questions about this, uh, this modification, this uh, accumulator modification here, um, just let me know. Like I said, I'll be more than happy to help you guys out. So um, <clears throat> thank you again. And uh, I'm going to get to, um, ouch, I just hit my foot on the transmission. <laughs> I'm going to get to uh, working on this thing. And uh, I'm sure I'll be making another video on how it performs. We got the rear suspension done on it. I got the car 
um, up on a uh, ramp right now so I can do that accumulator mod. But uh, I do have the suspension is on here. So the car sits pretty good in the back and it's very, very, it's a whole lot stiffer than it was. I haven't driven it yet, but I just pushed down on the rear bumper and it's, it's got some real good firmness to it. So, but that's going to conclude this video. Um, I'm not sure. I don't think I'll be making any more tonight. Um, I'll probably make them more like at the end of the week or something, maybe the middle of the week to let you guys know how the car performed on the way home. So, um, thanks everyone. And I hope everyone has a wonderful Sunday evening and, um, we will catch you on the next one. Everyone have a blessed one.